Okay, that was Take Me With You, Joanne Foster there on the vocals. And in the studio with me tonight is Joanne Foster. Joanne, how are you doing? I am good. Pleasant good night. Good night, Trinidad and Tobago. All right, that was a big one for you in, in, in 2014. You know, I was getting mixed up. Because uh, from Ash Wednesday, I started talking about last year. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you had a next big one last year. Let me give a little taste of that too before we, we start to talk about 2015, 15. right? And yes. this one is on the drum. <laughs> Come down. 
and so special when them oil drums ignite. Yeah, that's... Talk about the music and space that the world has embraced. Checking out on our friends, rubbing shoulders again. The joy and places you see in the community. Passion flowing free. Oh, yeah. On the track. Oh, yeah. We just start. Oh, yeah. Sounds like war to the uninitiated It's just ego and pride yeah. Man switches for bragging rights No one looking for fight We pass and press and collide And pass and just the same side We draw, we win, or we lose We light and a fuse One don't make excuse Oh yeah, on the track Oh yeah, we just stop Oh yeah Celebrating one of the the, the the icons of Trinidad and Tobago Calypso. That's right. right. Yeah, and well, you know, the the team, the the, the team of Joan Foster, Don Clark, um, Gregory Ballantyne, and Ivo Junior Joseph. That's the same team working on the that worked on the 2015 music, right? Yes, and yeah. we have an addition here. We have Mr. Whitfield Weeks. Yeah, we, 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 Whitfield Weeks manager, but we can't live out that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, yeah, tell us. Uh, hold on a second. I, I see we, uh, we already have an, a call here. Hello, good night. You're live. Yes, hello. Yes, yes, yes. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> is this is this the, the, the Doctor Bird? <laughs> yeah, we're getting a little bit of statics here. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um Wow. Um are you here are you hearing us? Clearly? Um, in some words, some words are clear. Uh, all right, you're, you're coming through a little clearer now to us. But yes. L- ladies, ladies, and, ladies and gentlemen, you know, you know let, me do, let me do a little introduction here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this, this is a man who, the two-time king of, king of, king of kings, eight times Calypso king. Eight times road march champ, a man choose whose bodies of body of work can be found the history of Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension the history of the Caribbean, if not the world, from from the colonial days to the attempt at federation, then independence right through to the republican status, and on the basis of which the University of the West Indies conferred the honorary title of the t- Doctor of Letters. I am talking about the King of Kings here, but the Calypso King of the world, 
the mighty Sparrow, and he's on the line. Doctor, how are you doing? <laughs> well, Doc, well, you know, this calypso that Joanne Foster uh, is singing for 2015, composed by the man Don Clark, with lyrics by Gregory Ballantyne, is perhaps the first tribute to you, is it, in calypso? <laughs> I mean, it's wonderful, I heard it and it is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. You know what? You are a man, you have done so much for Calypso and the history of Calypso and Pan, because this is a, a steel band show, you know, is is linked together, you know. And you are a man, I mean, I know that bands have won Panorama playing your Calypsos before on four occasions, I know, and, and on numerous other occasions, steel bands have your calypso but tell me something in the early days when you were composing your calypsos were you thinking of doing calypsos for the steel bands to play i think you were friend i was asking if during your early years in the calypso because i know you are a man who changed the, the the calypso style and so on in your early days right um i was asking if you concentrated um, Uh, yeah, but, okay, because you are coming through a little muffled as well. I, I don't know why that's so. Um, I don't know. Perhaps we might have to try another. Um, you are you hearing me now clearly? No, oh, I'm not. I'm not hearing you properly. Yet, but I can't respond to you properly. Okay. All right. Um. All right, Doc. What we might have to do is try another line. Um. Is anybody else hearing this? Well, yes. This is going. This is going live. Okay, Don, well, can you try a... Oh, hold on a second there. We'll have to try another number. Uh, yeah. yeah, Um. <clears throat> what we'll have to do is try me on 6223303. 6223303. Let's see if we get a better connection there. But in the meantime, I will talk with Joan here. Joan... That was the doctor on the line calling through there from New York, you know, and he said that he, he has heard the Calypso and he's happy with, with what he, he has heard, you know. Well, How do you feel doing I this? I must say this is a great honor uh, to have <laughs> the King Sparrow, the birdie himself, calling in, appreciating the song, loving it. I, I think this is great. This is, this is wonderful. This is epic. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and GB, GB, I've listened to it all weekend. In fact, I played it last week on the show here. Okay. And I listened to it over the weekend here. And I think, you know, it's a, a wonderful job he did there. He, he went back into the songbook of, yes. of, Spar of yes. Sparrow and, and yes. called out a, a whole number of tune, tunes and so on. But um, And I must say, it, it wasn't an easy song to sing because there's a lot of scales coming down. Uh -huh, you know, uh -huh. and the breathing and stuff and so on. Mm -hmm. And you know how to try to get myself like the sparrow, you know, how he sings his songs and so on, because we're going back, eh? We're going <laughs> yeah, back yeah. into his archives and so on. And um, I am proud to, to, to know that I captured, I captured some of his styling in the song, you know, and I am happy that he appreciated, appreciated it. I am happy that Don loves the song, you know, and... Mm -hmm. um, from the, the, the little reviews that I'm getting, you know, a lot of people love it, you know, and the main fact that it's a tribute to the king himself, the mighty Sparrow, oh yeah. Mm. Uh, well, well, Tops. Well, well, were you a Sparrow fan? <laughs> always, <laughs> always, always. And I think everyone mm -hmm. in Trinidad and Tobago and even the world, you know, yes, all over. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And Any, Sparrow fans. Anywhere in the world you go and you, you mention yes, him, Sparrow, yes. you know, they know about the birdie boy. <laughs> I, I really hope that he he gets through here so that, you know, I, I, I want to ask him some questions. About, about, about. <laughs> All right, but I'm getting a call on my cell from Don Clark, so, you know. <laughs> but, but you know what we'll do? we we'll, Let's take a little taste of, of, of the King Birdie so that when we get on and start to talk with him, um, hopefully if he gets through there that 
you know, people will have an idea what we're talking about. Yes. This is Joanne Foster doing King Birdie. the birdie on the line again here. Okay. Yeah, yes, hello? birdie. Hello? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, hello. Yes. Okay. Are you hearing me better now? A little bit better, yes. All right, and I'm hearing you, I'm hearing you loud and We're clear. We're hearing you very well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And pleasant good night. That's it. It's Hey, birdie. Hey, man, it's really a pleasure having you on the air here for our listeners on this show, you know. You're a man who changed the styling of Calypso in your early days, wasn't that so? Well, I would think so. <laughs> well, you know, because in the 50s, you started somewhere in the 50s there, you know, as a young boy. And you, I mean, put, changed it. The, the, in those days, Calypso was done in the Reminder styling and so on. And you bought you know, lively music into Calypso. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> you brought it, you know, and that's one of the things that, you know, that has made you an icon in the Calypso world, so it's indeed a pleasure now, uh, and it's the first time I know of a, 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 a tribute being sung about you, isn't it so? Well, I would think so. This is um, a wonderful thing. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I, and, and you have heard the song, so... I mean, yes, it's, indeed, yes, indeed. So, buddy, you know, um, how are things with you go, going? You know, I, I know you are up in the States there now, and uh, so tell us what's happening with the bird. Yes, I'm in New York, and um, matters are confabulating rather ridiculously. <laughs> I'm exceptionally busy. <laughs> <laughs> they have me traveling from one part of the country to the next and all over... As a matter of fact, I went to London um, twice in, in one month wow. and um, came back from there straight to Miami. Um, I couldn't even come home in New York. I just had to stay and change terminal in um, JFK airport to catch another plane to go. <laughs> Boy, it is so busy. I, this is a little bit too much. I, mean, I like the excitement, you know, but yeah, yeah, I mean, you know... Well, you're being my condition at this point here, um, you know, I'm, I can deal with it, but I would prefer to just take it a little slower. But, but, in, but, but I mean, you're keeping busy. And, and, but uh, how old are you now, 
Doc? Um, I, I don't like to talk my age. All right, right. But I, 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 I am still, I still in my teens. <laughs> <laughs> well, from from your, your itinerary that you just described, it. And, and 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 me and Nelson celebrating with teens next year. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Eighteen, eighteen, okay. eighteen. Uh, it's a, it's the 18 club. Yeah, it's something like soccer pressure all, uh, all the way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So anything new will we come in from the buddy himself? Yes, ma, you mean? Oh, I never hear that. <laughs> we, we, what do you think? No, well, well I, 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 I hope and so, so that's why I ask oh, you. I mean you're hoping so, I because know. somebody has come to me and asked me to help them. You feel it's, it's, it's something that I can do? <laughs> well, I don't know, you know, I mean... But the bird, well, you have to know the bird is a before man. you cast aspersions all over the place and sound completely senseless <laughs> <laughs> and irresponsible. <laughs> uh, I mean, I know the bird is a man who whose calypso cover every single topic. You know, the bird with the word. The with the word <laughs> you never hear me introduce myself. Y yes. <laughs> well, well you, uh, do that. Do that. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached where the air is rare. Only one Calypsonian have gotten here. Way beyond the realm of anyone's dreams, where royalty reigns supreme, we have found him. Unrivaled, unbridled, prestigious and pristine. Now, ever since he captured and conquered the Calypso regime, he has kept it in the highest esteem. And I must let you know, ladies and gentlemen, that this Serenader Supreme, at that point in time, was marginally 18. But he made the ladies daydream and the young girls scream. <laughs> so it is with great pride and pleasure we present for your better entertainment none other and His Excellency, the Honorable Dr. Slinger Francisco, <laughs> the bird with the word. Yes, yes. Now listen carefully. In Nigeria, he is Chief Omowali of Ikoi. Uh, uh, yes, yes, yes. But yes. all over the world, he is the Supreme Calypso King of the World. Winnipeg, <laughs> Vancouver. I, 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 I can't remember exactly, but it's once. <laughs> a fella asked me, a fella asked me tonight because I had a show tonight. Oh. A fella asked me, you mean once in every part of Canada? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <Lord. laughs> but uh, uh, let me jog your memory a little bit. I know around 1949, somewhere around there, you, was, you used to play pan as well, right? You join our neighborhoods. Um, so yes, we, we 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 had the um, the, the, the steel band in four roads. Right, right. You know, but what made you? Or at what age did you realize that? Listen, I want to make calypso my career, my lifelong career. Now, my father, my father caused that. My father start playing one set of calypso records in a gramophone. You used to have to wind up the gramophone. <laughs> His master's And master. then after you have it wound up, it, and you play the records, and the thing something nice, and then the, 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 the winding up start to run down, and then you hear the records starting. <laughs> and I should listen to all the different records and the different fellas and them. You know, lion and tiger and growler, executor, mm -hmm. viper, all them different kind of thing. In different language, in patois yes, yes, yes. and thing. Yes, yes, yes. And you, you. Singe, talala, jafa, swamana, maliwe. Jafa, swamana, maliwe. Piti pule, vela, mela, su, hey, hey, hey. Singe, talala. All them different kind of thing. Whether it's in English. Or is in Patwa or in whatever it is. Right, right, yeah, yes. <laughs> but the voice still there strong as ever, boy. <laughs> well, I never see that. So what do you expect? <laughs> I tell you, God, give me a second life and all you still making joke. You feel it's a joke? God don't make joke? But, uh, but, but we know that, eh? 
Give me a half life, you give me a whole life. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm bad like a crab, I'm ready to rumble. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, in my introduction to you, when we were having a problem with the line there, I was saying that your calypsos have covered every topic, every imaginable topic. You know, and, and the history of Trinidad and Tobago, and by extension the Caribbean, you know, can be traced through your music, you know. and Exactly. Yeah. Trinidad and Tobago yeah. will always live on. Colonialism gone. Our nation is born, let me tell you. Yeah. I'm going to follow our leaders. They always do their best. Together we aspire, together we achieve, and we're bound to be a success. But <laughs> as, as you give me that verse you bring back some memories there and I, I, I will say this publicly now as a little fella when you sang that in 1962 there and you didn't win I cried I cried because well, I, I was a strong buddy fan from since then and my brother used to support a different California not the one who won because Brian won that competition so we always had this rivalry he liked kitchen and I like Sparrow <laughs> and I mean we used to have fights over the Sparrow and Kitchener. Oh, Kitchener. But yeah. Kitchener was my partner you know. Yeah well I know that. Yes. You know. Well let me tell you something. Yeah. Wrong the corner posing. But your life is something they sell it. Harry Belafonte fell in love with my song. Harry Belafonte took my song and he made a big hit out of it and a bag of money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I I wasn't offended. And why I wasn't offended is because the Andrew sisters had done something yeah. similar to Lord Invader. Yeah, yes, that's right. That um, Roman with Coca-Cola. Roman Coca Cola. Yes. And and and, and um, Lord and Vader get a bag of money, and I was of the opinion that I was going to get a bag and of money, money too. from uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Harry Belafonte uh, because I mean I didn't authorize him, I didn't, you know, made arrangement with him. But in any case, he took one of Lord Melody's song too, Mama Loka Boo Boo. Yeah, okay. They shout, the Mama tell them shut up your mouth, and that sort of thing. So, yeah. after me and Melo get together, because it was me and Melo who was the team, Sparrow, Melo, Melo, Sparrow, yeah. it all depends on who you like, you yeah. put one in front, you know, yes, yes, yes. and we decided to call Harry Belafonte, and Harry said, come up, we tell him we're coming up to New York, he said, well, when you come up, uh, come and see him, and he, you know, he's going to take care of business. So, we did that. And we got a little piece of money, and everybody smiling. <laughs> eh, eh. My brother, after a while, and it's time to come back to Trinidad now, Harry Belafonte decided he want to hold on to Lord Melody, because he liked Lord Melody, and he think Lord Melody could be more help to him being his camp. Yeah, yeah. So, well, what could I say? When I come back now to Trinidad, it's me and me alone because there was, it was me and Mel, me and Melo, Melo Sparrow and that type of thing. But now when I come back to Trinidad, it, I, none of the other fellas wasn't like another melody. <laughs> so it so happened that I got the opportunity to go to London and then it dawned on me, wait a minute, you go into London and you have a, Adna in England, um, it have a fella in England who you like very much as a Calypsonian, and that was Lord Kitchener. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I went up to England, and first thing I did was to try and go to the company that Lord Kitchener used to record for Melodisc, and I met a, a guy named Emil Shalit, yeah. who was the boss of of Melodisc and find out about where Kitchener is, and he, he, he guided me that Kitchener was in Manchester, and he was playing in a band, he was a, 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 a bass man. Uh -huh. okay. And I went up to Manchester, 
and meet Lord Kitchener and introduce myself and blah, blah, blah. And everything was going good, you know. Right. And I wanted to tell him, Kitchener, how nice it would be to come back to Trinidad because the people love him and all of us miss him and blah, blah, blah. So long you're up here since 1946 and you never come back. Hmm. I, I mean, yes, and he went up there in 1946 and I started my career officially in 1954, 55, you know, monkey, and I win the crown in 1956. Yeah. So, you know, monkey. Kitchener was never on the scene. Yeah. And then you now when Kitch got to know who he talking to, he said, you, 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 you see little champion that they're talking about? I say, yes, Kitch. He said, but you, you, you will look like all of that to me. <laughs> I say, well, it's, I mean, with all respect and thing, looks is deceiving, you know. <laughs> so if you come in the ring, you do, do, do be surprised if you get too hard. Come. <laughs> so me and he, we, we, we make a kind of friendship from there on, and we started going up and down, and somebody else had sent a ticket for, to, for him to come down from London to Trinidad. Yeah, yes, um, yes. It, other than the one that Sylvester Taylor and myself had sent yeah. for him to come. And he decided to come down anyway. I can't remember which one he used, but he came down to Trinidad. And this time now, I dress up and I went up to the airport when I know he was coming in and everybody waiting waiting to meet Lord Kitchener but now I, I feel in special because I say Lord Kitchener is my partner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. And we went up in the airport, the plane landed and everything and Kitchener come out and we hug up and thing and shake hand and blah blah blah. The next thing is Kitchener, I want to sing with me. <laughs> so we asking, what's your, what your problem? Next thing you need to cut a long story short because this thing could go on and on. <laughs> um, Kitchener say, he ain't want to sing on the uh, si, si, same stage with that green idiot. <laughs> I say, but wait a minute, wait a minute. I was born in 1935. I come to Trinidad in 1937 because my family got a work on a military base in that area down there. Yeah. And that was it. Why were you telling me about the, that Grenadian? Yeah. I said, all right, I can't help it. I born in Grenada. Yeah. Yes. yes. If that is how you judge it, and you should, I, 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 I born in Grenada. <laughs> but you know what I noticed with some people? I'm born in Grenada and they're making a big issue of that as if I did something wrong. Convenient. And when I now make all the efforts and, 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 and became a, a, a Trinidadian citizen, nobody I want to give me no kind of credit. Oh. As if, well, <laughs> die no big deal. Well, but and any other, any other citizenship that I get in any other part of the world, that, that doesn't matter. But it's a green era, but I see, but what it is. <laughs> but they had something against green era. I don't know what it is. All you could tell me? Talent. <laughs> <laughs> but no, be, but, well, you know, because I remember they used to have a song long ago. Small island, go back where you come from. Small island, go back where you come from. You come to Trinidad in a sailing boat, and now you want to wear saga coat. I say, small island, go back where you come. I say, well, wait a minute. Who sang that? Nobody, nobody does sing that when they come to America. <laughs> Suppose America will sing the same thing. Okay. Trinidad, Jan, go back where you I'm come from. <laughs> Oh, 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 that will go down. You see, it's a bunch of yeah. jackass that used to yeah. carry on with the yeah. foolishness. True. True. But Until buddy. one day, a fella bring that foolishness to me a little bit once too often. 
And you know me already, every once in a while I lose my temper and carry on like a fool. Well, but anyway, them days done, and the good Lord has okay. given me a second life, and I am so thankful that I am blessed, and all the people around me who prayed for me and helped me. I have some doctors, but I tell you something. You ever fall in love with a doctor, a doctor, and because that doctor is so nice to you? Well, I was so sick last year, and this year, I'm ready to rumble. Oh, yes. Oh, yes sir. King of the jungle. King of the jungle. Thanks ah. for that. The birdie, the, the birdie, the birdie. The bird with the word. Yeah. Yeah. Bird, <laughs> bird, let, let me... So all of that is what happening there. So you get you get my whole story there in a nutshell. Well, well let, me, let me talk about something else that you, you must be given credit for. And that is um, as a Calypsonian, you know, taking charge of of your, your own business. I mean, I think you were about the second Calypsonian to to manage your own tent, you know, and you had Sparrow Hideaway. You had your own rec um, recording label, a national oh, record. Oh, yes, 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 yes. And, uh, and in the days, those early days, Calypsonians, well, they just used to perform for some manager or, or something like that, but you actually took charge of your business, right? And that, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and that is something... I, 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 I did. I did something else that a lot of you don't know. Uh -huh. I was the first man to chrome a pan. Well, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, see, you didn't know that. History. I, I, well, I had. Huh? Well, this is history we get in here. Yeah. Yes. So give us the word. You're the bird with the word. Well, I had a record shop in Anthony's Arcade. Uh -huh. You could always check that out. And it was necessary for me to have pan inside of there so that the people who come in, in, they can see the pan and they can listen to the records and all these different kind of things. And let the Calypsonian become a little more dominant in their own um, society, their own sphere. And what I did, it was very, very... Uh, impressive to these people and the next thing is um, a lot of other people come and they see the pan and they hear the pan and they decided that they want to do similarly right yeah. so they went and tune pan and, and chrome, chrome pan chrome, too yeah, yeah. but not only did they chrome a pan they chrome a whole steel band <laughs> <laughs> i did mine at electroplaters limited bill and i's house so my mother, my wife, and my children and them could come and <clears throat> up to now it's still there. Right. Hideaway, Sparrow Hideaway. I used to have seven bands playing Carnaval Day. Three bands coming up the hill, going up on the top part of the Hideaway. Three bands coming down, and we used to make it in a way that the two steel bands had to clash by the gate <laughs> and you know like nobody want to pass nobody they stand up there yes, and they're yes. trying to outdo one another right there by the big gate before you reach up on top of the hill and in addition to that we had another band inside of the the um the the, the, the lower part where we used to play and so it's called the seven band jam mm -hmm. right. Right so where music and thing is concerned, you were telling me something just now, before um, you were so rudely interrupted, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> well, I was saying that you, you, you know, took Calypso into the realm of business as a Calypsonian, because in those days, Calypsonians only performed and, and so on, and you saw the business in it. You had Sparrow Young Brigade as well. You, I think you were probably the second Calypsonian to actually open your own tent. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Me and Melody and Syl Taylor, yeah, yeah. we were joined as partners and we did all sorts of nice things. Yeah. And Sam Bodhi. <laughs> Bodhi. Yeah. Right. Sam Bodhi. Sam Bodhi. Uh, well, in your, in your lifetime, you must have mentored a lot of young Calypsonians and, and so on. Um, you care to tell us about some of the fellas that you, you, you brought into the Calypso world? Calypso? No, I, I, I met most of them. The only Calypsonian I remember who was around my age at the time 
Lapella called Andrew Makano yeah. named Superior. Yeah. And, uh, and, 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 and we became buddies in a way. Um, because at the time, what annoyed me was the prize money. Yes. The, the way how Calypsonians were treated. Right. You know? Uh, after I win the crown in 1956, you got $50 and a cup from Angostura and wow. to, to, to prove that you are so good and this, that, and the other. And the people who organized, the, you know, before they had the CDC, they had the Guardian needless cases for all these people who controlled the... The, 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 the Calypsonians and the Carnival and all sorts of different things. They used to treat, you know, in terms of money. Yeah. I don't know, you know, they treat you with a kind of respect, but a, a certain disrespect came when it came to funding. They never paid you properly. Uh, and I was very, very angry. I, and I wasn't afraid to tell them. I said, I couldn't care who they are. And I made a song on them. <laughs> I will play my mass as usual because I love carnival, but no competition for me. In San Fernando or the city, they could preach Peter or Paul. I wouldn't even go to Savannah to see football. <laughs> I intend to keep my calypso on the shelf. Let they keep the prize in Savannah for their damn self. <laughs> and let the queen run the show without steel ban and calypso. Who want to go could go up there, but me ain't going nowhere. <laughs> because they wasn't treating the Calypsonian right. Yeah, and they had many great Calypsonians, big name Calypsonians around, but I never hear any one of them. Yo, yo, yo. So that's a none of, I never hear none of them Calypsonians stand up and fight the authorities. So that's another aspect of this power that we have to... And, Cal and, and, and Superior joined me in terms of song and said um, how they, 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 they adore the Queen because there was Queen of Carnival, King of Carnival, yeah. and she, the Queen get everything. Yeah. And all the King get is a brass crown on his head. <laughs> Wow. wow. Those were some... And that is how we had to fight. Now I hear Calypsonian getting all kinds of money, and, and uh, I think they owe me something. <laughs> yes. I, I, yes, I agree. I, Tell them to bring a portion of that money that they're drawing <laughs> and give it to the mighty Sparrow because he was the only man single-handedly stand up and fight them. And actually boycotted the, the, the CDC. Carnival boycott. Yeah. That was the name of it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. <laughs> <laughs> so you see, me a serious fella from a long time, you know, sir. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. And but you, you have also been a, a master of the double 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 meaning calypso, you know. I mean, double meaning. <laughs> Yeah. Well, if you could unravel, uh, you, that means they say you're very intelligent. Elaine and Harry. Well, well, <laughs> eh? Elaine when and I Harry. give you, when I give you one with with with, with two meaning, yeah. you can really point out what part of it you could point out. <laughs> I talking about soul fish. Yeah, all right. <laughs> now, if you if you could find that soul fish is not, if I ain't really talking about soul fish, let me see you prove it. <laughs> because I even went as far as to tell you it is English cod. <laughs> English cod. How dare you tell me that I ain't talking about selfish? <laughs> but I know when I get my message across. I got you. <laughs> and you're smiling and you and, and you all your intentions start to come through you your eyebrow and thing and you smile <laughs> what, don't blame me what? I only tickle I only tickle your fancy <laughs> <laughs> another another aspect of this power that we all got accustomed to is the bravado of the man you know whether it's whether it's, it's, it's the Bajanism, you know, <laughs> um, royal jail, or, or, or whether it's, it's, it's the ladies, dealing with the ladies, you know, 
even in Guyana, you know, you say they could, they could burn down the whole, uh, thing as long as they don't touch Tiger Bay and all of that, right? <laughs> you are a fat man. <laughs> so the, the sparrow well, is... Um, <laughs> I, 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 I didn't bring um, that in the business, but that, that was there all the time. How many sing about it? How many sing about it? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, let me, let me put you on the spot then, you know. Yes. Yeah. Really the true confession or just a song? <laughs> I refuse to answer that question yeah, no, on the grounds that whatever I say might incinerate me. Incinerate. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, and and then you know when we look at, at the the humor, and even in the politics and so on, you know, um, the the um. Philip, my dear. Philip, my dear. Philip, my dear. Which one? Philip, my dear. <laughs> Philip? Yeah, Philip, my dear, you know. I mean, yes, boy, that master. was that breakdown London last last month. Well, look at that, you know. That was a masterpiece, yeah. Yes. Philip was not, Prince Philip was not in England. <laughs> she was left all alone to rule. That's when she began to question. Where's that philandering fool? <laughs> it was then she was told with malice. My liege, I thought you knew. The prince and the chief of police left in askance and askew. She said askance, askew. There's a war going on in Turkey. Prince Philip, he wants peace. So he left rather hurriedly to get some help from Greece. <laughs> she was filled with rage and anger. She stood in disbelief. What on earth is he doing over yonder with that wicked police chief? <laughs> you see? Wicked police chief. <laughs> now, in representing England, we know and we expect that after negotiations, you give. Sometimes you get. Now, I know Prince Philip wouldn't, but the chief... He can be cruel. Oh dear, I'd hope they didn't go to the capital of Istanbul. <laughs> to Istanbul. <laughs> she said, come on home immediately. Bucket Palace is in a mess. The kids have all gone bad, eh? You're down. Hello? Wow, like the call drop there. Oh, wow. Yeah, that was the birdie there. It seemed to have, the call seemed to have dropped there. Yeah, but uh, you know, the birdie, the birdie is a great man. And, and as he said, you know, God has given me a sec second life. I was hoping that I might have been able to open up the line so that co listeners can call in and probably ask the birdie a thing, a thing or two. But, you know, I have to thank the birdie for calling through. And Don Clark himself was on the line there listening and we didn't get a chance to to ask him a thing or two about the Calypso, you know, wow. You know, when you're talking with the birdie, look at this, it's after 10 already. Well, after tonight, I feel yeah. I want to call him a historian. <laughs> yes, 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 you know what I mean? It's, but the birdie, you know, he had, or he, he was an international Calypsonian, you know, his topics touched everything, you know, even when Princess Margaret married um, Lord Snowden, he talked about her. Um, how the princess can marry a cameraman and all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, let's take a little listen again to that, um, the King Birdie, uh, uh, John. Um, and then we go, oh, okay, let's see, we have a call here, let's see. That. Hello, good night, your life. Good night, Mike. You have Sparrow on the line here? No, he, the, the call dropped, Drops. unfortunately. He came off, he came off then? The call dropped, Drops. yeah, he was calling yeah. from New York, you know. Uh oh, yeah. I wanted to talk to him, but he's he off well. Yeah. I don't see anyone now, but he's giving a lot of trouble, eh? My radio. That's Bobby Bahamid now. Yeah. yeah, Bobby, yeah. Yeah, Bobby. <laughs> yeah, we lost the, uh, the call drop, so. Oh, uh, my. Yeah. Tell him, uh, when you play Mars in Brooklyn, man, that was the tune. I could never forget that day we went up by him. Okay. And he picked up his guitar. He didn't release it yet. I tell him I say that because I remember him good. And he came his guitar. He said, Bobby, they are ready for this yet. And he started playing the Mars in Brooklyn. He strummed it. Uh, yeah, yeah. He didn't release it yet. And we played, and that was one of a big hit we make in that area then. All right, Bobby. So tell him I dedicated it back to him. Play Mars in Brooklyn by him tonight. Mars in Brooklyn by the Guinness Cavaliers. All right, Bobby. Uh, yeah. You keep it locked there. Okay, Mike. All right, so, John, let's take a listen again to the King Birdie. King Birdie! <laughs> Please hang up 
and try your call again. If you need assistance, dial your operator. Please hang up now. This is a recording. Please hang up. No smart bitch and no tan With no bed van or you see the shan Carlton Dr. OTT sing for we Add one to you like I see Sing another classic melody Your songs we've sung King Buddy Where your crown go OTT Sing another classic melody Dr. OTT sing for we Add one to your legacy Sing another classic melody Oh yo yo Your songs we sung King Buddy Where your crown go OTT Sing another classic melody Oi Oi Who day Who day Ha The body Yes, and this is a great tribute to the king, the king Spiral, the king birdie himself. Yes, sir. It's a great honor. Yeah, Joan. Yeah, Joan. That's a great, that's a big one for 2015. I really hope some of the bands pick it up and, and play it, you know. Um, but last year you had two great tunes, so I really expected more bands to play it. I, I don't know. I don't know what happened there. I hope they don't miss this one. Well, I <laughs> hope so too. Yeah. Uh, I'm still hoping that the bird will, will call back. The bird with the word. The bird with the word. 
<laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, and I, and I really must thank him for calling there and sharing so much of his, his life with us. Yes. You know? and, and if you really go through his whole history, that would probably take three, the entire three hours of the <laughs> program. <laughs> Well, we, we have to thank we have to th thank the great Mr. Don Clark for yeah. setting up everything, for getting in touch with the birdie, yeah. you know, and making it happen. Yeah. Don, pleasant good night. Thank you. This has been very enjoyable. It has been epic history like that, you know. And um, we, all of we here, we had a great time. Um, Mr. Weeks, yeah. you know, smiling every now and then. I have my, my uncle here visiting from Colorado, Rodney Foster. Yeah. And we are just enjoying everything, you know. And we can't forget Gregory Ballantyne. And oh, the, yes, man. Yeah. Mr. Ballantyne. Hello, good night. You live? Uh, good night, Mike. Yeah, yes. Pleasant good night. Um, yeah, good good night to uh, Miss Foster, yeah. Pleasant good night. You remember your, your, your song I tuned by in Mocha when Stalin had, a, had his birthday a couple days ago? That's me? Yes, yes, of course. I remember you, man. Yes. <laughs> I think the tune, the tune was what? I climbed some mountain or something? Oh, no mountains too high. You can remember that, man? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. I don't really listen to a party when I go to a so too. Hi. Well, we, everything tie in, eh? Everything I'm a, tie I'm, in. I am a East Indian, you know. Yes, yes. I just follow all kind of music. Yes. Every... I used to play Indian music and things as well. All kind of music. Yes. I used to sing a piece of tune. Uh, sorry, I didn't hear you. You sing a piece of tune? No mountains? Yeah. No mountain like, must like... be too high. No valley ever too low. Keep your eyes, focus on the prize, so the genius inside of you will grow and grow, and the giant in you will always show. Yes. Thank you, man. Thank you. Welcome. Uh, uh, well done. I should just make an idea for you. <laughs> okay. Okay, Mike. Okay, good Okay, time. pleasant good night. Uh, you can give us something by Highlanders, boy? Yeah, something by Highlanders, yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yes, Joan. Uh, GB and and Junior. I yes. yes. You you've been working together what three or four years now. Yes, yes. And we we uh, we're doing well. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, <laughs> doing yeah. well as a yes, team. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. the, the, what are the songs? In fact, you won the Calypso Queen. 2013. 2013. More than an oil drum. More than an oil yes. drum. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, that's great, you know. I hope you all keep together because, you, you, know, you know, you're really putting out some fantastic work, yeah. Well, what I must say, um, once God is in the, in the midst, you know, we all would be together. Yeah. We all would stay together. Once we have the, the mighty there with us, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, we got another caller. Hello, good, good, hello, good evening. Yeah, blessed up to the young lady in the house. Pleasant, good night. Yeah, I'm just calling you still after a sentence, enough love. I will take a um, pandemonium, Stephen, the night is. Was that pandemonium, what? Stephen, by Trini. Stephen, by Trini. <laughs> All right, yeah. Right? I'm sailing. Uh, yeah, sailing, sailing. <laughs> and this is for who? Um, Rafa. La Flora. La Florescent. La Florescent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I love this. Yeah, all right. Yes. Okay, thanks for calling. Okay. Yeah. So that's the King Birdie boy, King Birdie. Yeah, you know. The children are fantastic.
So to all those steel banner rangers and so on who are interested in this tune, the King Birdie, the CD and score sheet will be available at Pantron Bago's office from Wednesday this this week, all right? Or you can call Mr. Whitfield Weeks at 460-8113. He's Joanne's manager and you can get the score sheet and, and music from him, you know, so yeah, it's a big one. This is a big one for 2015. Things start all year. Yeah, hello, good night. Hi, good evening, Mike. How are you doing? Tony here. Yeah, yes, hello. Good night. I must, I must compliment the young lady for her wonderful and beautiful voice. Thank you very and much. She has very, very far ago because from the days of old donkey, she ain't stopped yet. <laughs> Mike, I'd like you to do a favor for me. Friend yeah. Taylor, the most has a pan birthday. I'd like you to play birthday party by the face. So. Birthday party? By yes, sir. By Facebook. Facebook. Yeah. Facebook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. And, and congratulations to a wonderful song, Miss Foster. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, We're going to reach far. Uh, who are we speaking Thank to? Thank you. Yeah? We look forward to Tony, that. Tony. Tony. Okay, all right. Tony from Woodbrook. Tony, yeah, yeah, yeah Woodbrook. Yeah, all right. All right, get my chance. Okay, <laughs> good night. Good night, your life. Yeah, good night. I'll ask for the